How is it going? It is Master Rolf here. Welcome back to a brand new Clash of Clans video. And today is the 1st of December, which means it's the start of the 25 days of Christmas, which means I'm going to be giving away a gift card in one of my videos every single day. So, what video is that going to be? I'm not going to tell you until the actual video. So, today's video is this one. There is going to be a hidden gift card in this video. I'm not going to tell you if it's for iTunes, Android, or what country it's for, but there is one in this video. So make sure you look out for it, and if you get it, please do tweet it at me showing that you've won it. That will be absolutely awesome. So, what are we going to do? Now, being the 1st of December, I asked you guys what do you want me to do in December? Something special, something new, something fresh, uh, something that I've done before and you guys want to see more. And the overall majority of you wanted to see max level troops again, which is awesome. Uh, max level troop raids are crazy fun, crazy hard, uh, and a little bit stupid. So we're currently in Crystal 1. I'm kind of farming a little bit for my walls, trying to get all that gold possible. Uh, as you can see, my base is all set up to, uh, as a farming base as well. And today we're going to be starting off with the Barbarians. So how many Barbarians off can you hold? Obviously you can hold 240 because that is how many army counts there is. And they only take one space. Now in my clan castle, uh, I do have some random troops. So we're going to get rid of them. Because we do not want them. We only want barbarians. Thank you guys so much for the golems and stuff. I did tell them though I wanted barbarians. But um, okay. Uh, let's ask for them. And uh, That's awful spelling. And maybe we'll get more. So the hardest thing about this raid for me was actually picking the spells. I really didn't know what spells. Where's my... There it is. What spells to take. Because it's such a, such a strange raid that nobody really does. So I decided to take two jump spells. Two rage spells and one heal spell in the middle there. Uh, the reason I've done that is I'm hoping that I can jump over two walls nice and quickly, throw down the rage spells, and then throw a heal spell on the town hall. Now, being in Crystal One, I do encounter town hall nines quite uh, quite often. So that basically means there's not going to be the Inferno Towers, which is really, really good for us and what we're hoping for. So let's go out, see if we can find a raid. We can also bring our king and queen with us, uh, and let's see how we do. So again. I don't know how this is going to go. We're going to try and find a base that is doable. Preferably one without the Inferno Tower. So let's have another look. Hopefully, here we go. So we found a Town Hall. Uh, oh no, he's got his clan cast in the center with his queen there. But like I said, there's only two walls to jump over. Uh, well, there's three, but I think I could double jump that wall. I'm not 100% sure on that, actually. Yeah, I think, I think we could double jump that and maybe get into the uh, center there. Now, I don't have any... Three spells, I don't have any lightning spells for the clan castle troops, so we're just going to have to go at it with our troops as they are. So, we're going to spawn in all our troops, we're going to drop hopefully a perfect jump spell, please be perfect, yes, that is going to go there. Uh, we're going to rage up our troops as soon as some of them want to go in the center, uh, which is now, alright, go troops, go, 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 go. Uh, we're going to jump them over there, we're going to jump the rest over the next one, I'm going to throw in my king, throw in my queen. Going to throw in a load more barbarians behind them. We're going to drop a heal spell down and another rage spell. Now, hopefully, that will be good enough for my troops to go and take down the town hall. I don't know if it's going to be. We need to rage up our king. Oh, my God. That was a close one. Yes, go on. Go on, lads. You can do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. They're on it. They're literally on the town hall. Yes, we took down the town hall. Uh, where's our queen? I have no idea where the queen's gone. Uh, but I'm going to rage her up anyway. Oh, there she is. She wasn't that badly damaged. But as you can see, we've taken down the town hall. Uh, and it looks like we could get a 50%. I'm not 100% sure if we're going to. We've got so many barbarians over here taking down that wall. But the wizard tower is just having like heyday with them. Uh, and just destroying them so, so bad. We've only got this barbarian left. Now we've only got the arch queen left. Is she going to clutch the 50% for us? Go on, queen. Come on, queen. No, look at that. She was super, super close at getting that 50%. Uh, but we won with 240 Barbarians. If we'd have brought a clan castle full, we would have got 100, 100%. We would have got 50%, uh, which would have been the two stars. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you like these kind of raids, smash the like button down below and comment what max level troop or max level troop raid you want to see next. And I'll try and get that done. We'll try and go through all of the troops possible. So, as you can see, all the dark troops. All of the light troops, and I'm also going through strategies as well on my other videos, so I hope you'll like that. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Back to another Clash of Clans video. Today we are going to be doing the All Max Hog Riders raid. Now, I am very torn between the Hog Riders. I used to love them when they got nerfed a bit. I kind of didn't really enjoy them as much, and I really haven't played with them since. Obviously, everybody used to play with them, and only a select few play with them now. So, it's going to be interesting going and doing an All Hog Rider raid. I remember when I started... Uh, playing Clash of Clans. Everybody did Hog Riders, especially in Clan Wars. Uh, it was severely annoying, hence why it got sorted out. But 
it was a pretty cool raid to do, and it's a really fun raid to do. So we're going to give it a go today. Uh, we've got a load of hog riders. Uh, let's have a quick peek. So we've got 48 hog riders in our 240 camps. We've got our king and queen ready. We've got... Uh, five hog riders, only level two uh, in the clan castle. And then for spells, I used jump spells. No, I didn't. Uh, I was going to go for the super jump. But instead, we went for two heals, one lightning, and two rages. The reason I went for that uh, was the rage, obviously, just to speed them up in like a death zone. Uh, the heal is hopefully we're not going to meet an inferno tower. Uh, we'll take on a town hall nine. But if we do... Uh, if we do need to heal them, we can drop them down, heal them up, and make sure they have that extra health. And obviously, the lightning spell is for the clan castle troops, if there are any. Because Hulk Riders are pretty good at luring them out. And we'll be able to take out quite a few of the clan castle troops. So, are you ready to get into this? And before you guys ask in the comment section, yes, it is 25 days of Christmas in this video. So, there is a hidden iTunes card. Get looking, guys. It is here somewhere. Anyway, let's head on into battle and find a base that we can take down. Now, hopefully... Um, oh, this is interesting. The, the one thing I'm not sure about this one is uh, where its giant bombs are. The reason I say that, actually his clan castle as well isn't active, but he could have troops in there, uh, which is the confusing bit. It's just annoying. Let's spawn in one and see if he has any troops in that clan castle. He does not. Okay, absolutely brilliant for us, I guess. Uh, we're going to attack then from this side because we've just cleared out that row. There's no giant bombs. There's one little bomb there. Uh, let's put one in the center as well. Is there a giant bomb there? There's no giant bombs in any of those. So we're going to spawn them out. Come on, Hog Riders. Let's take down this base and see what you can do. Uh, we're going to put in two rage spells straight away in there as well. I'm just going to watch them as well and see where they go. And then we're going to have to heal them up a little bit. I'm going to drop a heal there. Oh, no, giant bomb. I've dropped a heal on the giant bomb. So hopefully we'll be okay. Now I get to drop my king and my queen uh, to take out all the outside stuff. Uh, I've got a... I've got a lightning spell as well. I'm just going to throw that in there and see what happens. They are storming this base, though. Uh, they are getting taken down by a few spring traps, a few giant bombs here and there. Uh, but so far, I'm pretty happy with how they've done. Uh, and I think, I think, oh, they're so close. They've only got this one cannon remaining. Go on, take it down, guys. Yes, there we go. They have taken that down. We are now left to our own devices. Uh, the king is having a little battle with the queen over there. I'm going to rage him up just so he breaks through that wall and can go take her down. The hog riders are now going around the outside, which is a little bit dangerous uh, considering all the bombs in the base. So hopefully they won't get hit by the giant bombs. But the queen is now pushing on the inside as well. I can rage her up to speed it all up as well because obviously there is nothing less to harm us. And it looks like we're going to get the three star. So I said I hated hog riders, right? I really didn't enjoy playing with them. We just got a three star on a Town Hall 9 in Crystal 2, uh, who's in Crystal 2, because I'm farming at the moment. I didn't even see how much loot he had. I wasn't even bothered about the loot. I was more bothered about seeing if we could three star with the Hog Riders. And we've been able to do that, guys, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, I know some people... Oh, there was, there was one giant bomb. I wonder if there's going to be another giant bomb in here somewhere. Um... No, it doesn't look like it. The giant bombs must have been really spread out, but that's pretty good for us. And there we go. A perfect 100% three-star raid. 60,000 loot. Not exactly amazing, uh, but it is quite an expensive raid to do because it does cost quite a lot of Dark Lakes. So, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button down below and comment what troops you want to see me do all max of next. And like I said, there was a hidden card, gift card, in this video for the 25 days of Christmas. Until next time, though, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.